Big updates from Safe Technologies. We've got more answers about the road trip, product availability, and peer reviews, but some responses leave us wanting more. If you remember, last week we shared replies from Safe Technologies about their product launch date and the planned road trip to prove their technology works. Maxwell Chikumbutso mentioned in an earlier interview that the trip would be from Egypt to Harare. Well, we've got even more exciting updates today, as Syeth Technologies has replied to some of our other questions. If you missed the previous video, I'll replay it at the end of this one, and I'll also include a clip of Maxwell explaining how his device works. First, let's talk about the availability of Scythe Technologies products outside Zimbabwe. We asked if the vehicles and other products would be accessible to people in the diaspora, and the answer we got was a simple, yes, sure. While this is good news, it's not very detailed. For those wondering, it seems there's a possibility of getting these products worldwide, but don't rush to spend your money just yet. Wait until they prove the technology works and we see peer-to-peer -peer reviews. Speaking of which, we also asked about peer-to-peer -peer reviews. For those who don't know, peer-to-peer -peer reviews involve independent experts testing and verifying the technology. The answer we got was soon. How soon? We don't know, but this is crucial for building credibility around Maxwell's invention. Next, we asked if independent people like journalists and car reviewers would be part of the road trip to clear doubts. The answer was a big yes. They mentioned they'll have people from institutions as well as car people, not just anyone, we need people who know. This suggests they're planning to involve seasoned car reviewers and experts, which is a great step. However, we hope that by institutions, they don't just mean Harare Institute of Technology. The VC has been closely associated with Maxwell for years. That I'm sure he is one of the shareholders of Scythe Technologies. So involving scientists or engineers from other universities in Zimbabwe would add much more credibility. Now here's a fun question. Who would you want to review this car? Would you want someone like MKBHD, the famous tech and car reviewer, to test it? If someone with his credibility says the car works, the world would go crazy. But if he says it doesn't, it could sink Maxwell and the entire company. Remember how it went when he received the Fisker Ocean car? The company doesn't exist anymore. Sadly, when we asked Scythe Technologies about who they're considering for the road trip, the answer was, when the time is right, we will share. This leaves us unsure about who might be involved. It's possible they're still reaching out to people, and these things take time. Reviewers might want payment, and there could be NDAs in place. Or maybe they're keeping quiet to avoid the big oil companies from sabotaging the process. That's all the questions we got answers to so far. But we also asked about supplying power to houses in Zimbabwe especially since Parliament recently highlighted the country's electricity crisis. And we got a not-so-good answer that we'll cover in another video we had already made about that. We've also started asking tougher questions like why it's taken over 10 years to move this technology from concept to commercial product. We're still waiting for answers on that. If you have any questions you'd like us to ask Scythe Technologies, email me using the address in the description and I'll pass them along. Or you can also reach out to Max himself on Twitter or Safe Technologies on Instagram and Twitter. Let's keep the conversation going. I'm, I'm <laughs> just really still trying to wrap my head around this, like yeah. radio frequencies to power. Yes. What's yes. the conversion? What happens? How does that work? I have invented what is what is what is called a microsonic energy device. Seventy percent in the in the microsonic energy device. This is the generator. This is the device that harness radio frequency and convert it into direct pure energy. Seventy percent of the components there. In, are tailor made are under my name. Mm -hmm. I'm the person who have designed them according to what I've seen in the spirit and the calculations that I've done. So, um, the excitement that is caused when they are exposed to a radio frequency, those uh, materials, those components, materials, they, the excitement causes them to generate energy. Mm -hmm. So, when energy is generated, it goes to what we call a down converter. The down converter then put it into the DC controller. That process is done with a microcontroller, though it's it's technical, <laughs> but I just want people to understand. So from the DC uh, controller, the current now is, uh, is is sent to the inverter where it is changed into AC current. Uh, so when you talk of the frequency of the machine and the voltage of the machine, it is carefully controlled uh, with the computer, the microcontroller. So it is just amazing because the, the whole machine, what it does, it is very intelligent. 
we have combined um, artificial intelligence we have combined uh, computer science to make the machine very smart mm. yeah long time to say and the uh, solar panels are more or less in those uh, uh, ranges but the good thing is that when the machine it is maintained and the maintenance of the machine it is very cheaper because we don't have emissions we don't have consumables so right now we have seen that our machines can be serviced three times a year depending on how much energy it is uh, uh, produced because it is like calendar serviced uh, so three times we see that on the half a megawatt we need about 1500 dollars per each four months this is this is uh, uh, nothing then um, on the battery side because our prim primary source to switch on the machine comes from a battery we right now we're using lithium and batteries we're talking of about 15 to 20 years so the technology is just sustainable mm -hmm. yeah while it is maintained you can go for a very longer time mm -hmm. Let, let's talk about the issue of failing to, to to file a patent i think mm -hmm. that's a very cru crucial aspect let's, let's talk a bit about it okay you know we have got laws. Uh, there's a time that I explain on my Facebook page so that people could understand how the laws, the patent laws work. They are patents which are not uh, patentable. Big news, Maxwell Chikumbuzo and Safe Technologies are planning a massive road trip demonstration to prove their microsonic energy device works. And we've got the inside scoop. A few days ago, we reached out to Scythe Technologies on Instagram to ask about two things. When the highly anticipated road trip demonstration will happen and when their products will finally be available for purchase. To our surprise, we got answers and we're going to share a screenshot so you know this isn't just speculation. According to Scythe Technologies, they're currently working on organizing a road trip where a vehicle powered by the microsonic energy device will travel and brace the road for the first time for us to see. If you remember on the launch day, they said it will be from Harare, Zimbabwe, all the way to Egypt. So we'll drive our car to Cairo, to Cairo live on TV. Everyone watch it. That would be enough hope. And right now we're doing this. We tried asking for specifics if it will be so, but that question has not been answered yet. But this demonstration aims to prove that the vehicle can run for hours or even days without needing to stop for fuel or charging. We also inquired whether it will be a live stream and where to stream it. But we are still waiting for answers. And once we get answers, we will update you. But that's not all. When it comes to releasing confirmed and final prices for their products, Scythe Technologies has scheduled this for sometime in March. This aligns with what Zimtech guy mentioned earlier about the new website being launched soon, which could provide more detailed information about the products, pricing, and availability. Of course, we didn't stop there. Our team member also asked whether the products will be accessible outside Zimbabwe once they're unveiled in March. While we're still waiting for a clear answer on that, we'll keep you updated as soon as we hear back. We also inquired about the exact dates for the road trip, but that information is still pending. If you have any more information about this, maybe questions of your own that you asked Safe Technologies and got replies from them, feel free to share with us via the email in the description. We'll keep you posted as more details emerge. This is a huge step for Maxwell Chikambuzo in Scythe Technologies. If the road trip demonstration succeeds, it could silence skeptics and prove that the microsonic energy device is the real deal. But until then, questions remain. Will the vehicle really make it to Egypt without stopping? Will the technology hold up under real world conditions? And most importantly, will the products be available to the public as promised?